The Cannabis Show is for information only. You should always consult with a qualified and licensed physician or other medical care provider. Today we discuss LP mergers and acquisitions. Kate discusses regulations around CBD, and we explore the strain Super Silver Haze by Canna Farms. All that and more, it's The Cannabis Show. Buzzing around the Canadian licensed producer scene, let's take a look at what's making headlines in the industry. Markham, Ontario's MedRelief recently shocked the industry by essentially hanging out a for sale sign out front and basically saying, we're open to offers. Rumors then immediately started swirling about a potential buyer, including names like Canopy, Afria, and Aurora. At the time of this taping, MedRelief had confirmed it was in talks with Aurora, but nothing has been confirmed. Emerald Health Therapeutics, a licensed producer based out of Victoria, BC, has acquired the recently licensed AgroBiotech out of St. Eustache, Quebec. The acquisition will add 10,000 kilograms to Emerald's annual output, and by placing the operation in Quebec, it joins another five LPs taking advantage of Quebec's low hydro rates. Full service health insurance adjudicator NextGenRx and Vaughan, Ontario based LP CanTrust have partnered to provide medical cannabis benefit access and real-time adjudication services to NextGenRx's plan members. CanTrust will offer exclusive access to its medical cannabis products and plans to its plan sponsors and members. And finally, Hamilton, Ontario-based LP Believe has entered into a definitive agreement to purchase the MediGreen Cannabis Clinic Network. MediGreen has operated since 2015 and since then has opened three locations with plans to rapidly expand its footprint over the next 12 months. The company currently has an active patient base of approximately 4,000 patients. So much LP buzz there, Hart. Good job. Lots going on. <laughs> Just scratching the surface. Exactly. Yeah. Well, we're going to get right back to that here in a sec. We're Kate here as well. Basil, I'm Chris, The Cannabis Show. And uh, yeah, Aurora, Med Relief. I mean, two that really big That companies. would be a what? monster deal. Yeah. yeah I mean, really like, would. that, that kind of came out of nowhere, too, yeah. right? Like, it was just all of a sudden Med Relief is like, um, yeah, um, we're going to accept offers if anybody wants to buy us. It was like, what? Yeah. And of course, yeah, you had your, your biggies jump on board right Absolutely. away. Yeah. Um, but yeah, still really haven't heard a lot no. um, out of really either camp. But uh, I mean, there's confirmation that they're talking. Yeah, that'd be an exciting like, one to watch. Wow. It's crazy, and, though. Oh, sorry, go ahead, Kim. Oh, well, it's, it's like it's up to the shareholders now. So I don't know how much company philosophy and everything else has to do other than shareholder what That's they good. want. Really kind yeah. of the business is turning that way right now, too. Well, a lot, a lot of talk about those, those two M&A, mergers and acquisitions, right? Like, yeah. there's a lot of buzz around. It's happening all over, though, right now. There's so many little ones, too. I think there was one in Quebec. You were, yeah, yeah, yeah. We were just talking about... Um, uh, Emerald Health Therapeutics just purchased uh, another LP in, uh, based out of Quebec. I think it's called yeah. Agri yeah. Biotech. That's what now, it's now, Quebec, like it seems almost like a haven, really, when you think about it, for like people who want to grow cannabis. Yeah, I mean, it makes CNR. a lot of sense. There's some, you know, ways to benefit from some cheap hydro that, rates. That from must there. be huge, and, and you know, it enables uh, producers to produce very low cost cannabis. Yeah. Now, there's not a ton of producers there right now, is there? No, I think six no, in total yeah. right now. Yeah. And how many on sale or how many for sale? Only yeah. one has a sales yeah. hydropothecary right. license. Yikes. Yeah. You know, but is Quebec the only province right now that has signed some big contracts like the one that they did with There's, uh, there's some memorandums out there with other provinces for guaranteed yeah. cannabis, right? Yes. Yeah, so, but uh, like I know what you're referring to, you're referring to the big deal that hydropothecary yeah. did with the SAQ 5-year deal. Some say it's worth Huge. upwards of a, you know a yeah. billion dollars. And I think your organogram got in a little of that as well. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, ever, there were other LPs that were. I mean, certainly uh, Hydropothecary took the lion's share, but uh, yeah, everybody yeah. seemed to benefit from that. The business of cannabis, it's <laughs> it might be even crazier than the actual medical benefit right now, but uh, the medical benefit is there for sure. And uh, well, that's what we're going to talk about in this next stream by Canna Farms, a beautiful sativa. Critical Super Silver Haze by Canna Farms has all the ingredients of a classic sativa from taste to euphoric effects. Patients who are looking to be more social or for a feeling of joy and happiness may want to give Critical Super Silver Haze a try. This strain has said to be good for nausea or for anyone who has high stress levels. 
Although the THC is in the low to mid teens, the strain can still have a kick at first and then may exasperate anxiety for those that are prone to it. Critical Super Silver Haze does have some indica genes, which benefits the growers as the flowering traits are that of an indica. This means licensed producers can grow more in smaller space, but the effects are that of a sativa. Critical Super Silver Haze by Canna Farms. The subject of hemp and hemp-derived CBD is a twisty one. Here's a bit of a breakdown. All seeds and products from hemp fall under the ACMPR guidelines. That means the Access to Cannabis for Medical Purposes regulations. That's where you need a doctor's approval to be legal and you must access the cannabis through a licensed producer. ACMPR does not even include hemp as a source of authorized cannabis products. Any legal hemp-based products you may find in retail stores are permitted either because they contain no CBD and less than 0.3% THC, so basically no therapeutic value, or because they've slipped through the regulated system. To recap, THC and CBD are still controlled substances and must be approved by a licensed physician and filled by a licensed producer. Now, when the Cannabis Act comes into effect more than likely later this year, hemp farmers will be able to sell their crops to LPs for CBD extraction. So, if you don't go to a doctor about getting CBD, you can't or shouldn't buy CBD? That's right. I mean, it, uh, CBD is a controlled substance in this country. Period. End of sentence, right? If you're buying it outside the ACMPR from a licensed producer, it is illegal. Yep. Health store, they're selling CBD. It's 99, 100% pure. Can you buy it? No, I would. <laughs> That's a trick <good> question, <laughs> Basil. I think it's important to understand, too, that when you're buying your CBD product from a licensed producer, you know what you're getting. You know, yeah. it's very yeah. regulated. Well, you're getting a certificate of analysis along with it. It just makes sense to me. Yeah. And you're not getting any other parts of the plant that are so beneficial. If you're well, not going through the right? LPs, yeah. Yeah, yeah that, thank yeah. you for playing fine. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. With that, those, those products that you're just buying off the shelf, you, you, you're, not, you're missing no out on that whole idea. entourage effect. Right? Yeah. 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 yeah, but it is nice that once, you know, Bill C-45 passes or whatever, that the hemp farmers will have some contribution because at that point, the hemp farmers will be able to supply the CBD. We're getting there, but for now, doctor's note, like heart sack, period, <laughs> that's it. Uh, that super, like critical super, what silver is it? Haze. Super silver yeah. haze, yes. Super silver haze. Cattle farms, that, uh, that lovely sativa. Yeah. And then you read there's a little indicate there, and you get confused, right? But I didn't feel that. <laughs> I haven't had the chance to try it yet, but it's a beautiful looking strain, like those yeah. bright greens. It's um, got that alien The green turfs, too. like it smells <laughs> very earthy. It's, yeah, uh, it's, it, it's pungent, so you know it's potent, right? It's tasty. You it's, know, yeah. um, after the first time I tried it, what I went to go see, the ballet. Oh. <laughs> she my first ballet. So kept you awake then? I was, uh, yeah, and I even read the program. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. The person I was with, with didn't read the program. I had, she had no idea what was going on. Anyway, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Cannabis Show. We'll talk to you next week.